we can modify the genomes of, of bacteria, of viruses, of cells within cultures. So that's you no know, human cells that are just simply growing in the same way as you grow a bacterium. Um, uh, we, we can modify those uh, straightforwardly. Uh, modifying, uh, if you like, um, a, a part of the genome that's going to be uh, incorporated within a living human whole person is vastly more complicated. Um, it has been done uh, unethically um, and illegally um, by a, a Chinese scientist who oh, six or seven years ago uh, uh, of actually modifying a human embryo um, in that case, to make it so that it was partially resistant to HIV infection, uh, modifying that and then implanting that embryo um, within a human uterus and bringing that to, um, to gestation. Do you detect within the, the, the scientific community a concern that you are having to take, if you like, moral decisions in a vacuum? that the regulatory regimes or politicians and so on are, are, are too far behind this, that you're faced with moral decisions that you're taking in a way on behalf of humanity. Absolutely. And generally when that um, um, modification of an embryo was performed, there was an outcry in the scientific community is that we should not be doing this. Um, uh, and there was effectively a moratorium across the world in saying that this is something, it's all very well doing it on isolated cells, but to do it on anything that could lead through to a fully functional human being, um, a complete moratorium on it and uh, illegal in most countries. What was the reaction with China itself? I mean, is this okay. the outside world having a different view from China or mm -hmm. with China? No, no, this was illegal in China. He broke all the ethical rules locally as, as well as internationally. It has to be said that some of the uh, hesitation among scientists is not necessarily because it's overstepping the mark, but because of the elements of risk that are involved in that. At the moment, we don't really know what the consequences of doing that might be. You, you might modify one gene, but genes don't work in isolation. They work in networks. Um, and then you might disrupt that network. Uh, you might accidentally um, modify something off target, uh, an, another very important gene. Um, and so it could have consequences, unknown consequences for the individual. Um, so the question of risk has been very high up on the scientific ethical questions, rather than actually the question of is it morally or ethically uh, permissible to do that. Mm -hmm.